This is uh, two past paper 2013, paper one, question six. So the diagram shows the graph of the function y is equal to sine of x uh, in the domain uh, zero less uh, less than or equal to x less than uh, equal to pi. So it means from, from zero to pi. That's what that means. Uh, complete the table below, correct to three decimal places, right? So you just have to get the sine of zero, the sine of pi over six, the sine of that, the sine of that, etc., and then put in those values there. Uh, and then you're going to get that will give us the y values because so that's sir uh, These are the x values so you get that the y values are the heights. All right, so we need the heights Obviously, there's no height there at all. So it, that's going to be zero there And it's going to be zero there. Okay, you can see that already But these ones there we will need for the trapezoidal, but we don't need the x values again We need those heights sometimes in the, the questions. They'll just give you the heights in this case, they're giving you the function, you have to calculate the heights, so it's slightly different, right, than some of the other ones I've seen, so just be careful with that. Uh, so use the, and once we fill that out, then we can then we can use the trapezoidal rule to find the approximate area of the region enclosed between the curve and the x-axis in the given domain, basically what's the area under there according to the trapezoidal rule. Okay, so first of all, we've got to fill out this grid here, and... So we have y is equal to sine of x, that's the thing, and uh, then we've got 0 to pi over 6, to pi over 3, to pi over 2, 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, and pi. So 0 to pi over 6, it's going up in increments of pi over 6, right? So it's uh, pi over 6, pi over 6 plus another pi over 6 is pi over 3, 2 pi over 6 is pi over 3, etc. So it's going, so you have your h value there already. For, for that sometimes they'd give it to you in this case we have to find and we need the the heights there so that's what that grid is for so uh, when x is zero y is sine of zero so the sine of zero is zero so that means there is no y coordinate as you can see there's no height there and there'll be no height for the last one as well that will be the, the sine of pi will also be zero so we already have that there the other ones are not so obvious, okay, so the sine of uh, pi over 6 is a half, the sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, the sine of pi over 2 is 1, so that's going to a maximum height of 1 there, and that one there is, that's root 3 over 2, that's a half, so which is probably about approximately a half of, that's 1, so it's about there. That uh, 2 pi over 3 is root 3 over, t root 3 over 2, so that's, well it's supposed to be opposite, I wrote this out. So they're, they're supposed to be equal, and then this one there will come back down to a half. So that's smooth enough, it going a half, that's a half, but that's zero, then it's a half, and then that one there is a half as well. That's root three over two, that's uh, root three over two, and then that's one, that's pretty smooth. And then the last one there, there's no height there. Okay, but you nevertheless, you need all of these for the trapezoidal, all of your coordinates. Uh, and then it, you you got to use the trapezoidal to calculate. Don't forget that these are in radians here. It's pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2. So when you're putting them into your calculator, you've got to put your calculator on radians. Or else you're going to get all sorts of issues with that. So you need radians there. So area is equal to h over 2. Now the h again was the width of these segments. Uh, so you can see there, it's the from the first one really, it's pi over 6 is the width. So h is going to be pi over 6, okay? And then you got uh, f plus l, that's the first one, uh, the first one there, the first y one, and the, the last y one, which is 0 and 0, they will be both 0 and 2 into all else, so all of these here added up, okay? So we've got h, which is pi over 6, so pi over 6 divided by 2, pi over 6 divided by 2. Now pi over 6 divided by 2 is the same as pi over 6 divided by 2 over 1, that's the same as pi over 6 multiplied by 1 over 2, flip it around, and that's the same as... Uh, pi over 12 so pi over 6 it works out you just put you can put the two you can basically put that straight down drops down uh, there and you get pi over 12 the first and the last is 0 and 0 so you get 0 to 0 nothing there so you get 2 and then everything else a half plus that plus that plus that plus that so you get 2 into a half plus root 3 over 2 plus 1 plus root 3 over 2 plus a half okay and there or there there, so I'll, I'll continue that here. So it's pi over 12, 0, 0. Uh, they'll go in a second. Uh, you've got a half plus 1 plus a half. Uh, a half plus a half is 1. And plus the other one is, gives us 2. So that's 2 there. Don't forget 2 is into the whole thing. So that 2 is on the outside. Then you've got root 3 over 2 and root 3 over 2. That's the same as 2 
root 3 over 2's, so it's 2 multiplied by root 3 over 2, which is root 3. The other way of looking at that is root 3 over 2 plus root 3 over 2, like root 3 over 2 plus root 3 over 2 is equal to root 3 plus root 3 over 2, 2 being the common denominator. That gives you 2 root 3, like that's like, a, you know, 2a. If a plus a is 2a, so it's the same thing. So 2 root 3 over 2 is equal, and the 2's cancel, you get root 3. So that's the other way of looking at that. A little bit of maths there. Uh, so you get pi over 12 into 2 into 2 plus root 3, okay? Uh, you get 2 into 2 goes 4, 2 into uh, multiplied by root 3. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, 2 multiplied by root 3 is 2 root 3. So you get pi over 12, 4 plus 2 root 3. And so pi over 12 multiplied by 4 and pi over 12 multiplied by 2 root 3. That gives you, that 4 goes into 12 3 times, so you get pi over 3. And 2 into 12 goes pi over 6, so it's pi over 6 by root 3. That that works out at 1.95488. So that's the approximate area under the, the curve according to the trapezoidal rule. Okay, so 1.95488. So that's that bit. And then it says use integration to find the actual area of the region shown above. So there's the other way of doing it is... Uh, using actual integration okay uh, so we have the what that y y is equal to sine of x is the function we're going from zero to pi so according to this thing here it, the range is from zero to pi okay so we, we integrate from zero to pi the sine of x dx the integration integration of sine x is minus cos of x and then you have your zero and pi there so you get minus cos of pi minus minus cos of zero okay now that is part of the formula that minus is from there and that minus they're the same thing the formula that's from the formula okay so you got to be careful here right so that is I basically put that in there and then put that in there and then you subtract them okay that's normal but these things can cause confusion so just be very careful with the uh, the signs right cause of pi again is going to confuse you even further cause of pi is minus one so you get that evaluating to become minus one and that minus is still there okay so you got minus minus that will become a plus cause of zero is one but you have a minus there so you've got minus, uh, you got, that's one, right? That's it. So you got my, and that's the minus from there. So that cause of zero evaluates to one, you, the minus is there. Uh, the cause of pi evaluates to minus one, but you still got that minus there. And then you've got this from the formula, right? So minus by minus gives you plus, and minus, that's like minus one, multiplied by minus one gives you, plus one again so you get plus one plus one and it gives you two so be very careful there that's very very easy to make a mistake there uh, again remember that's from that negative is from the formula that one is from there and that one is from there but to compound issues cause of pi is actually minus one so again be careful with your brackets so we end up with two being the area under the curve and that's it so two right then they ask for find the percentage error in your answer to be above, right? So the error, uh, we, that means what we got from the integration and what we got from the trapezoidal are, are slightly different. So what we got from the, tra uh, from the integration was 2. What we got from the trapezoidal was 1.95488. So the difference is 0 0.04512. Subtracting them, 2 minus 1.95488 is equal to 0 0.04512. So that divided by 2, because 2 is the, uh, the correct answer, the more correct answer, the trapezoidal is approximate. So again, you'll have to compare it to, to the, the proper one, right? So it's 0 0.04512 divided by 2 multiplied by 100 gives you 2.256%. So it's, it's off by 2.256% uh, as opposed to the, inter the full integration one here okay which is more accurate just be careful with these things here you want to have a look if you a look at that a second there because it's very easy to make a mistake again that that's negative cos x okay 
that's pi and zero so it's whatever's in here minus whatever's in here to pi minus whatever is in here to the zero so that's what i've done so minus cos x is what's in here to the pi minus what's in here is minus cos of zero but cos of pi goes to minus one so you got minus minus and you got that's another negative etc okay.